Hey guys, I am running out of money. I have spent so much money on horrible, underwhelming games. Three out of ten. Like, don't buy this. I am the asker of questions. You are the answer. That do you understand? Consort of demons. Okay, what I said about the rhyming thing, I, I don't. Yep. Officially lost brain cells playing this game. That I am starting to go into debt, lose my hair, and having to sell my kidneys on the side so I can make ends meet. So today, I am announcing that I am done making Ori in the Blind Forest as a platformer released in 2015. And I am playing it in 2023. Yep, because it's on sale and I love me a sale, guys. So Ori in the Blind Forest is a platformer where you get to play as an elusive small creature that reminds me of Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. I don't know why, I just think like that, whatever. Damn, bro, this game is so majestic, bro. You feel like so elusive with this small figure just jumping from place to place. This is so beautiful. Oh, look how smooth. Oh, bam. Oh, bam. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, 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 no, no. The gameplay is very smooth, moving from platforms with his small, nimble body. I learned a double jump. Let's freaking go. Oh my god. Ooh, that is majestic. My god, that sound effect, man. Majestic. The greatest parkour of all time, bro. I beat fucking Celeste. I didn't get all the soundtrack shit, but still the greatest. Ooh, shee, shee, shee. Okay, boom. Boom. Look at this, look at this. Oh, that was so sick. I'm only human after all. I'm only home and after all, I'm with your blame on me. Every jump will take your breath away. The soundtrack, dude, and this guy on the piano got me in the feelings. And these visuals, man, are straight up gorgeous. Holy smokes. I would go to a museum to just look at the colors and lights. Let's talk about that combat, man. It is so unique. Each area you acquire new skills to not only fight, but to use it to maneuver around the world better. Let's talk about the coolest skill, which is bash. You could use it to forward dash through lights, but also deflect projectiles and even enemies. The amount of ways you can use these skills to progress through the game is awesome. Nowadays, all games do is number skill trees, where you can increase your health or stamina. I'm looking at you, Scars, above. Fuck you. The story in this game is very good. It also doesn't contain a large amount of unnecessary dialogue for you to understand what is happening. It explains it with visuals and the story will keep you on the edge of your seat the whole time. The final verdict of this game is a 10 out of 10. The gameplay was very smooth and it just felt like a phenomenal platformer. The story was short and sweet and it also had like great twists that you would not expect the game to have. Y'all should definitely check this one out. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, y'all know what to do. Like and subscribe. Come on, man. Like, why do I, why, why, why we gotta keep telling you this, okay? You, you already know what to do, okay? You know, if you like this video, you should like it. It'll help me out a lot. I'm just playing. Y'all can do whatever. I'll see y'all in the next one.